So this is actually the IACCL M300. So in IACCL M300 we have four different ranges: 40 amps, 63 amps, 100 amps, and 125 amps. But the programming is common for all the four all the four ratings. So to do the programming, we have to press the down key and up key simultaneously. So once you press the down key and up key simultaneously, the password screen will appear. The first digit will will get blink. So the password is thousand. So you have to make the first digit as one. So once the number digit one appears, you have to press the up key to move to the next digit. Press up key. It will come to the next digit. Press up key. Once you done with the up key, the pa parameter screen will appear. The first parameter is showing V selection. So in V selection, we can find three options: vector harmonics, vector, arithmetic. So it can be readable as per the field condition. The default will be vector harmonics. The second is baud rate. Baud rate default value is nine six double zero. So it can be editable up to four eight double zero, two four double zero, thirty eight four double zero, and nineteen two double zero. But the default is nine six double zero. So third one is parity. Parity you can find three options: even parity, non parity, and odd parity. The default is even parity. So the fourth one is device ID. Device ID is one default value. It can be editable as per the site conditions. The fifth one is password. The default password is thousand. So you can editable up to double nine double nine from thousand to double nine double nine. So the fifth one is energy selection. In energy selection, defaultly the ACCL will show the watt hours, but we can one more option. We have one more option, that is VA hours. So if you want VA hours also, we can select that. The default value will be watt hours. This is starting amps. The starting amps is 0.4 amps, so it can't be editable for the customers. It is a factory limit set limit. We don't need to change this value. And the next one is starting voltage. Same like a starting amps. Star starting voltage also also can't be editable for the customer. It is default. You don't need to change the value. It can be, but it can be editable up to 10 to 40 amps. But it is for the factory purpose only. So the next one is under voltage for EB and as well as DG. The default is 180 volt. So it can be set up to 165 volt to 210 volt. So the next one is over voltage for EB and DG. The default value is 260. We can edit the value up from 240 volt to 270 volt. And this is DG amps. So you can see the value here. This is 40 amps three phase ACL. So that the full load rating will be displayed in this DG amps. So the 40 amps is there. So if you want to edit the value, you have to press the up key. The first digit will blink. I am going to make 30 amps. So three is three is appears. So once three is appears, you have to press the up key to move to the next digit. Once all the blinking stop, stop, you can move to the next parameters. Now 30 amps is made. In e, the next one is EB amps. Same like as DG amps. It can be editable uh, up to one to 40 amps. It, uh, if it is 63 amps, it will here 63 amps will be appeared. We can make uh, edit the value from 1 amps to 63 amps, but it is a 40 amps. So now I'm going to make 30 amps for EB also. The next one is DG delay time. DG delay time in the sense, so once the EB get fails, how much time the ACCL need to take? to transfer the load from eb to dg so the default value is 5 seconds it can be editable up to 30 seconds so now now i'm going to make 2 seconds so 
so i am now now i made 25 seconds you can see the value here this is cycle time cycle time in the sense you can you are, we have already shown that uh, we already made for 30 amps for the eb and as well as dg so once the current exceeds the value set limit in dg amps and eb amps so it will accl will get trip and it will wait for 7 seconds as per the set limit once the 7 second is passed it will again come to the it will charge the load so if it is again the overload is uh, persist and it will come to the next cycle time and it will be 50 15 seconds so like that there will be four trip cycles each and every trip cycle have different values so this is actually the trip cycle count so it can be editable up to 5 to 10 trip cycles so default will be 4 it can be editable up to 5 to 10 trip cycles so this is actually dg phase selection in dg phase selection you can see there will be single phase and three phase selectable options so if you select three phase it will consider the r y b phase healthiness so if you select single phase it will not consider the y and b phase healthiness and it will only consider the r phase healthiness only now i made single phase this is actually eb healthiness in eb healthiness you will find all phases all phase in the sense it will consider the r y b phase healthiness if you made any one phase it will consider only the r phase healthiness it will not consider the y and b phases healthiness once you done all the programming the save screen will appear so save y is there save as you press the up key it will be saved 